Welcome into the third postseason edition of the Acadiana Post Game High School Football Forecast. The select schools are one step away from the Superdome, and the public schools are trying to make their way into the semifinals. We still have tons of local teams swinging in the ring, but before we get into the matchups, let's get into our Players of the Week. The lights shine a little bit brighter in the postseason, but all of these stars aren't scared of the spotlight. Let's begin with Travis Achan Jr., one of the best running backs in the entire country. He carried Jennings into the next round, scoring their first five touchdowns, including three rushing touchdowns longer than 50 yards and a 70-yard kick return. The man is explosive. Up next, we have Jake Vaskakou from Ascension Episcopal. All Jake did was score seven touchdowns for the Blue Gators. He had six through the air and one rushing. The Blue Gators are clicking on all cylinders, and Jake has them one step away from a chance at a state championship. Next, we have Braylon Trahan, the Acadiana Reckon Rams do-it-all man. Braylon now has two pick sixes in the postseason, and he scored the first three touchdowns for Acadiana in their huge win over Ponchatoula. The man is fueling a defense that's tearing people apart right now, so I would be scared if I was going up against Acadiana. Last but not least, we have Nate Cox from STM. He chucked four more touchdowns in last week's game, which brings his season total to 36 touchdowns now. If you do the math, that's in 11 games, which means he's averaging over three touchdowns per game. And with another performance like last week's, he'd break the 40 touchdown barrier, which is absolutely absurd. Up next, let's get into our matchups as we have teams trying to make their way to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Game number one is a grudge match. Ascension Episcopal versus Central Catholic Morgan City with a chance to punch your ticket to the Superdome. This is a rematch from week 10 where the Blue Gators beat Central Catholic by one point, but Central Catholic is carrying a huge chip on their shoulder for several reasons. First off, the Eagles thought they got robbed in week 10 and they were handed the 12 seed in the playoffs. All the Eagles have done is prove people wrong throughout the postseason and they're gonna see if they can do it again. That being said, Ascension Episcopal is playing near perfect football as they're trying to protect their undefeated record and reach the Superdome for the very first time. The best part is, no matter who wins, the Acadiana area will have one team fighting for a chance to win the state championship. Up next, we have another team that is one step away from New Orleans. Last year, the STM Cougars got Jim Hightower to the Superdome for the first time in his long and illustrious coaching career. This time, they want to go to the Dome and bring back a state championship. To get there, they have to go through an incredibly talented U-High team. They're in the shadow of LSU's campus, and they are loaded with D1 players on both sides of the ball. That being said, STM's pretty loaded too, and that is all because of Nate Cox at quarterback. In his first year leading the charge, he broke all types of records for STM, and as I mentioned before, he has a chance to reach 40 total touchdowns. He's 6'8", can see the entire field, and he's one step away from getting them back in the dome. Up next, we have another huge matchup, but let's go to the public school side of things. It's going down in the open air Crow Dome this week as Karen Crow is inviting Neville in for possibly a plate of revenge. Neville has not lost a game since September of 2014 and they knocked Karen Crow out of the playoffs last year. That being said, Karen Crow has the talent to hang with absolutely everybody. Carl Randall is healthy, the Poulard twins can do anything on the field. You have Trey Barnaba, Eric Tolliver, and a defense that's only given up one score per game so far in the postseason. The best part though, is that it's at home. So go out, fill the stands, get loud and support Karen Crow as they try to reach the semifinals. And guess what guys? I have a bonus round for you because we have so many teams left in the playoffs. I just wouldn't feel right if I didn't give a shout out to the other teams that are still fighting for survival. First off, you have Kaplan and Jennings trying to advance in the 3A bracket. Either way, you're gonna have a local team move on. Then you have the Acadiana Reckon Rams rolling downhill, taking on Zachary. And then two teams trying to make their way to the Superdome as well in the exact same bracket. You have Notre Dame taking on St. Charles and Catholic High versus Riverside. If all things work out, you could have a Catholic versus Notre Dame rematch for the state championship. You can listen to a couple games here as well on News Talk 96.5 KPL. We will have Jennings versus Kaplan. The Acadiana Rec and Rams will be on ESPN 1420. And Ascension Episcopal will try to keep perfect on Talk Radio 960. And remember, high school football lives at AcadianaPostGame.com.